Step one for filling a CO2 tank. You'll need a 50 pound siphon CO2 tank and your fill station. First of all, put your carbonic washer into the adapter. Then screw it onto the on off valve on the tank. Step two, make sure the exhaust valve is in the off position. Step 3A and 3B is attaching the two types of CO2 tanks to the fill station. One's a pin valve and one's an on-off valve. Step 3A, attaching the pin valve 20 ounce CO2 tank. Now that the tank screwed into the universal fill adapter, you need to screw the top down to engage the pin valve. Usually about halfway down, halfway to three quarters down ought to do it. Step 3B is using the uh, on off 20 ounce CO2 tank. Screws in the same way the pin valve tank does, except the top valve's not used. You, you turn the valve on here. Now we're going to put some CO2 into the 20 ounce tank. We need to put about two ounces in before we try to fill the entire tank. This will allow us to bleed this off and chill the tank so that the bulk of the CO2 will flow into the 20 ounce. Turn the main valve on and you'll start filling and, and hearing the CO2 transfilling into the 20 ounce tank. Just put a little bit in there. You'll fill the tank and get a little cold. That's okay. Make sure the, the, this is already engaged. You're going to release the pressure. This is off. We're going to tank is very cold. Now, using your scale, attach it here, zero it out. Now when you turn it back on, go up to about 18 to 20 ounces and stop. Okay. Let's engage this. Okay. And bleed off the back pressure. Okay. Now, you want to open the main valve on the 20 ounce tank. You won't have to worry about this valve, that's just for the pin valve. You will shoot about two ounces into this tank, close it off, close this valve, bleed it. This allows the two ounces to escape and chill the tank. You'll need to do that's called purging. That way the, the bulk fill will, will go in there easier. Now, let's open. this is an off position. And we want to put 18 to 20 ounces in it. Okay. Turn this off. Now you want to bleed the back line so you can take the tank off.